This was our room, 5016. I'm coming out there. We checked in late at night in Punta Cana, so this is the next day. No, I'm going. Um, hey, hey. Directly to the little yeah. path to the beach. You did have to go out into the hall and go around, or you come jump through the bushes. But nonetheless, very beautiful view. <laughs> we were on the left side, the uh, sports uh, beach vibes uh, crew. Were, that's the building there on the right. Then the beach. This is the pool deck. As soon as you walk out of our room, there's the beach bar and the pool bar on the other side of it. Beautiful resort, lush, and it did feel very tropical. Punta Cana is actually one of the muggier places that we have been, we found. Not sure if it's always, but our week was very muggy, March uh, 16th. There's two pools here. Uh, this is the big pool that's with the... Uh, swim up bar lots of chairs nice sprinkler part of that pool on that same pool further down this is the second pool this is actually like a lazy river goes in a circle right there is where you get your towels that's where the pool bathrooms are uh, the resort shaped kind of like a U the beach being at the top Uh, that's the rest of that pool, the one that goes the Lazy River. Now we're heading towards the lobby, away from the ocean. And all the buildings are, like I said, in the U shape, with the lobby being at the bottom. The Lazy River Pool uh, actually has another smaller section down here. Um, I believe it's only like a foot or two feet deep or something. It's on the left there. Uh, so I think that's like the kiddie pool. See how it's blocked off? Again, the buildings go all the way around the pools. And if you're wondering too, uh, to my right, um, at the very back, that's where eight and nine, so they're deluxe kings um, that you book. If you book the cheapest rooms, that's what we had, but we did upgrade and we got the ocean front. Uh, again, beautiful grounds. Uh, front of us, they're with the umbrellas, so it's the coffee shop. We uh, enjoyed that a lot. Great coffees, everything cold, frappuccinos, espressos, lattes, cappuccinos. So at the very, very beginning part again, that building that we see in there, that's the lobby. And here in front of us, that's where the buffet is. And again, Coco, the coffee. Okay, so now we're back to the... Pool the show the sprinkler. Yeah, it might be then a we went to one. the beach. Uh, the beach was quite that's the club. The beach was quite nice. Nice sand. We walked uh, the beaches all the way up to a vacant piece and then back towards Sunscape and So uh, Club the must end at this little fence. Yeah, yeah I think that's great. Right? And then so many cabanas there. Right? Yeah. Really have the option of either spot. Yeah. Because I don't think on the main beach you would ever get a good day. Yeah, they go quick. I do have a separate video walking down past Sunscape to the marina and another one from Dreams up to Dreams Flora up towards Bavero. So the pool was very nicely lit up at night. It looked really pretty. 
Uh, the pool area itself, they keep quite dark unless they're doing some entertainment. Uh, probably to draw everybody to the lobby. <gasps> yeah? Where are you going? Hi! This guy was kind of fun. Some cracker? Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't have one. I've had a few different, like, cocoa or pie. Cracker? Um, but he was right by the coffee cracker? shop. Cracker? So he was fun uh, to have a little chat with yeah. each day. This is called the Two Palm Grill. I believe really, we really enjoyed it. Then we went back to the club, cool off in the shade, but still be able to see the ocean was very nice. Nice spot to eat breakfast and lunch, but you got to be a club member to do so. This is the club pool, so you do have to be an uh, upgrade to use that pool. This was the club pool. You had to be upgraded to that to use this pool. Um, the restaurant also for club members. They were checking on a list and cross-referencing when we were there. So I've heard people say they don't check, but they did while we were there. And just back to the beach. This is Capitan. There's the stray dogs that... Uh, are around the beach all day, quite friendly. Do they like the chicken? Then we walked up the beach towards Barcelo, and this was uh, Dreams Flora. Very nice. They had a lot of outdoor canopies for to eat and drink to get out of the sun in the afternoon. Um, as you go all the way up the beach here, there's a couple cellars and a vacant beach lot, which was absolutely beautiful. Uh, there was one house up there, and uh, it's too bad to see the garbage on the side of the. Uh, of the shoreline at the beach up here. Cute little swing uh, Buddy has there for pay for a tip to use. And you get the trees that hang out over the water. But up here I found the water a lot more clear. And plus it wasn't restricted by all those buoys back at the resort. This goes on up for a while. Um, the jungle. Beautiful beach lot. In case you're looking to buy a piece. LOL. <sighs> Uh, another seller up under the beach here. He does come down to the resort to uh, sell his stuff. Some night entertainment they did. This was an acrobatic show, which was actually quite good. Um, this was outside up by the towel area beside the pool. So it was nice to be outside. Uh, again, not a bad little show, something to do at night. And another day at the beach, that's the club section. You can see to the right of us there. I did find that a little crowded. So we tended to use the uh, regular it's definitely a busier This is where they take you for the excursion if you book off the beach with VIP tours. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really hot up here, but we were just waiting for the other bus to arrive to go out on the boat. There was some place, little shop there to shop. Uh, this is just where they got us to uh, sit to wait. There's a bar there as well uh, if you want to buy drinks. Uh, it's a whole marina. There's one of the stray dogs. It is a whole marina, like I said, um, so not a bad experience. Oh, 
Then we went out onto the boat and they did take us out for a quick look at the dolphins that were swimming with uh, people that were there on excursions swim with the dolphins. We were told it was part of the tour, but the captain said it wasn't, but he said he would take a quick um, voyage out. It was just above where we were. So we got to have a little sneak peek. You sit in the water for an hour. No, oh, look at him back there. What? Never brought in. He's like comparing his son to my Some on board entertainment. Uh, the crew put on a little Dominican um, traditional dance, I believe. They did a couple dances on board the uh, boat, um, but note this is more of a party boat. Uh, if you book through VIP tours, as you can see, it's a lot of young people drinking and partying, as they should. Uh, so it was super fun. Then we headed out after this dance, well, while they were dancing, I headed out to the snorkeling area. I had to take out the music because YouTube picks it up and flags it as a copyright. So <clears throat> unfortunately you don't get the music to go with the dance. People by now have had quite a few drinks, and we were uh, done snorkeling. So, so this is the water hole. To it's all the boats the from all over water hole. Vero Beach and down that bring people here to uh, party. You can get in the water, stay on the boat. Music playing from every single boat. People with floaties selling drinks, but your liquor was um, uh, included on your boat, but only like beer and uh, a few other things, but not like no pina coladas or anything. And then in the back there you can see some horseback riding, which seemed to be kind of cool, other than the poor horses, it was so hot. Some music playing. But again, YouTube picks it up and copyrights it, so unfortunately, uh, the vibe is definitely music and party and drink. Back to the pool to find some shade. <laughs> they were just setting up a little camping thing for the kids for that night. This was the Asian restaurant. It was absolutely fabulous. They give you a choice to go to the show or to sit down at your own table. Uh, we had sushi, which was fabulous. We had the sushi. Oh my god, it was so good. A pop-up entertainer doing drinks and giving them out.
went to the club beach section as you can see it's very crowded uh, but we were looking for a little more shade that day but definitely more crowded This they were just setting up for a Dominican barbecue to go with the Dominican dance um, for that night. And they were just practicing and doing some afternoon games. So, ladies and gentlemen, tell what's for all of you Dominican dances show. Some night now, entertainment go by the pool for Dominican days. They're up there. Parasailing was very popular. We took a quick jolt up to Blue Mall, free transfer from the resort twice a day, 9.45 and 3.45 I believe. Um, really not a whole lot up there. It was a nice little change of scenery, very expensive especially with the Canadian dollar. So, But if you're just looking for something to do it's, and you're only there for about an hour, 45 minutes. Our last night there, Michael Jackson show in the theater. It's really the only thing I remember being in the theater all week. Um, it was pretty good and it was a little bit cooler in there, not quite as hot as uh, a couple other parts of the uh, resort.
last day at the beach, taking it all in. We didn't depart until 9.30 that night, so you go to the airport about four hours prior, so we left the resort at 5.30. Got a last little bit in with my floaty, and then I gave it to a family with a couple kids, so I didn't have to lug it back. Lounging around, waiting to get changed. They give you a complimentary room for about 30 minutes, and uh, it was actually in building nine. The rooms are actually not bad. Uh, if you decide not to upgrade, I wouldn't have had any issues with it, actually, whatsoever. What is that? The only time we went into the buffet, but here it is. And here, this is the airport when you walk in. Um, there is the self-serve machines, but um, we still had to go through the gate agent because there was nobody working, just baggage as they take it. So uh, anyway, really nice um, airport, but I will tell you, it's one of the hottest I've ever been in. So. Wear your summer clothes to the airport until you board your plane. Ordering something. No, I think they're waiting for the gate. Okay, gate in. What? I said, you want to get the shit, you your phone in the airport. Why would you get the shit? I was going to say. It was so hot, so busy, so many people. Crazy airport. And make sure you're to watch the board as uh, they do not call like they do at home. It's on the board. You make your way to the gate. And that was our week at Jewel Punta Cana. Enjoy.